as a professional, the material you deliver is important, right? It is one of the, you know, critical requirements, okay, to have material that is relevant. But there's other components to it that makes it very essential. The preparation that you put into delivering that material. So, if you know the material, if you know the content, it's one thing. But you have no idea who your audience is going to be on any particular day or moment. So how do you prepare for that uncertainty? Right? And that's the point. You must be prepared, regardless of how many times you've delivered that content. Right? And... The question some of you might have is, how do I prepare if I don't know my audience? Well, you have to prepare in a way that you you are rounded and complete enough that you can, you know, um, be in audible mode, right? You can kind of scramble and make the adjustments on the on the fly, knowing the different ways that you can deliver this material is important, and that's a part of the preparation, right? The way you deliver the material is going to have an impact. Your style and your approach are just as important, right? A part of your responsibility is to ensure that you are engaging your learners and participants. So if you prepare in a linear fashion, you're, you're restricting your, your, your material and also your skill sets. You're limiting yourself. Plus, on top of that, you're making it about you and not your audience. Pardon me for that. Right. And not your audience. There needs to be a plan in place. And what is your plan when you're preparing to deliver old material or a new material to different, you know, sets of learners? Because Monday, you might have a different audience and they might be younger. Tuesday, you're delivering the same content, but it might be, you know, young adults. And then Wednesday, you're delivering the same material, but it's now seniors. Or professionals. It's got to be able to, you know, you have to be able to modify it and alter it on the fly to meet the needs of your audience. Right. So what is your plan? And I think that's that's what this is about. Right. And although the presenter, right, prepares with his or her uh, learners in mind, sometimes the presenters ego gets in their way, right? And what I mean by that is it gets in the way in the sense that you're not even open to hearing feedback from your learners, um, concerns that they might have, things that work well, and how you can improve on this, right? Some people do presentations and they never have a, a survey or a pre-survey that allows them to learn more about their participants, maybe discover something new about their learning styles or disabilities um, that they might have, some challenges or some things that really work well for them. And knowing that information makes your job that much easier and it makes you do a much better job. It makes you deliver the material in a way that is extremely relatable to that, that audience. And that's a part of their prep. What are you doing before that day you have to deliver the material? And that's what it's about, right? So don't allow your ego to get in the way. It's also important to develop, develop the skill, you know, that allows you to identify when your ego is getting in the way. You have to be able to catch yourself. Are you at some points um, feeling like you're becoming more defensive when someone challenges your ideas, right, or your perspective? Are you rattled? Are you shaken where it kind of throws you off course or your thought process and that you're unable to kind of regroup and continue because you didn't anticipate anybody ever speaking back to you in, in this presentation? That might be something for you to consider. And that's you being able to check when your ego is about to get in the way. Because once that, 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 that moment happens, guess what? There's a blockage. There's a disconnect momentarily, but it's a huge impact because it shows whether you are as good as you, you know, presented yourself to be in that moment to your audience. And that's where they get to see right through you. 
and they get to understand who you are. But when that moment happens and you embrace it and you say, you know what? I did not know that. Wow. Tell me a little bit more. Now I turn it over to that learner. I allow them to guide me. And in that moment, I become the student. I become the learner. Right. And because I become the learner, guess what? They become the facilitator, the educator, the teacher, right? The leader. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the beauty in it. I've allowed myself to grow in that space, but I've also allowed them to expand as well, their knowledge, right? So now I'm out of my comfort zone and so are they. And here we go, right? It's not combative, we're working together. And everyone else listening in that room benefits.